It's Oren. You said a minute ago that the threat is over the will to receive, then I don't want the threat to go away. No, otherwise I will lose the necessity for the Creator. Right. So this is a kind of uh, a lie. Why is it a lie? No, it's not a lie. Let's say that some trouble comes. So you have this, this trouble, and from this trouble I try and be connected to the Creator, not in order for this trouble to disappear. In the beginning, because it mitigates my state and so on, but later on, no. That's gradual. It develops from one state to the next. There are many such states that come to a person until one says... I'd rather be dead than alive. I don't want everything else other than leave. Other than leaving the contact with the Creator. Yes. Let's take a concrete example of some trouble. Maybe, for example, a disease, an illness. An illness or death, doesn't matter what. It doesn't matter what. So let's say an illness, so that we have something that we can uh, clove on concretely. Let's say there is an illness. What does it mean? I don't want it to go away. Of course I want it to go away. What's the difference between an illness or financial loss or loss of anything else? There's no difference. Just so we can discuss, I need to have a concrete example. I'm saying there is no difference in whatever trouble that comes. Let's say I'm sick. And without this illness, I wouldn't remember the Creator. Yes. And then I have an, an opportunity here. I can heal and not be in contact with the Creator. Is that good? You'll be healthy. No, it's not good because you need to be in contact with the Creator. Okay, so you're already starting this conflict. Like I'm, in the story. I'm not arguing, I'm just saying. Uh, to pay more or less, you're beginning I'm, to negotiate. I'm saying that's not reality. What's not reality? Reality is that when you have some illness, great, I have an opportunity to connect with the Creator, that's wonderful. Besides that, there is a desire to heal. No. There's no desire to heal? No. And when a friend is ill? It depends what you're paying for it. If I pay for that with detaching from the Creator, then no. Because for me, that is important more than anything else. Yeah, that point is clear. That's what we're talking about. But I don't understand the other thing, that we're not talking about a friend is uh, sick. We pray for him to heal. We don't want him to heal. You can. You can. And he himself, it's preferable for him to hold himself in that state. If this point ties him to the Creator, then he should choose himself. Depends what degree he's on. We need to pray for him corporeally and to strengthen him also spiritually. Why do we want him to heal? We want to give him our own deficiency. I, I didn't get that. We want to supply him with our own deficiency that through which he will cling to the Creator without any negative phenomena. Great, to hold on to the Creator without any negative phenomena. That's the uh, aspiration. That's in a group. We weren't talking about the group. You brought here, you brought in a discussion. You entered a dis the discussion we were having and you added in another component. If you now talk about the 10, how a 10 should behave, that's, that's something else. And the upper and the lower one of the three states mister take it slowly okay so let's go back to the individual put the group aside there's a person there's some trouble and there's a creator right the person should devote his life to the with the creator and relate to anything that comes to him in his life as an opportunity to connect to the creator more and more that it comes from the creator but it comes from the creator it's an invitation to connect with him yes the plane of that connection is very clear and when another trouble comes that's a further opportunity to connect all of that is clear I'm not asking about all of this I'm asking about a different disturbance only the discernment that says, I don't want the trouble to go away. I don't want it. But the Creator sends it to me. I bless on the bad as I do for the good. In, in which desire I don't want it. I'm built out of a desire, a matter called will to receive. Adhesion to the Creator, which is more important than anything else. I get pleasure from adhering to the Creator more than any trouble. And be, due to that trouble, I even get more pleasure from it. That's also clear. And still, there is the desire to heal. No. There's no desire to heal? No. So the person would just die? No. That's how it is.
Here, you attain connection to the Creator in a way that you see how good and bad it all comes from the same root in order to stabilize you between the two. Cancel one, the other will be cancelled as well. These two ends, in between the two, that's where you build yourself. Between bad and good. Between them you build yourself. That good is connection to the Creator, and bad are all different troubles that are revealed in the will to receive. The matter from which we're built is a will to receive pleasure. So how can it not want, let's say, to heal or to get rid of some trouble? It's the opposite of it. I've already reached contact with the Creator that I get from Him the light that reforms. This light that reforms already it wraps me. It, I already begin to be connected to Him, to the will to bestow. And even in that, it's so it's either I either that or I begin to value the pleasure that I receive from the Creator for being connected to Him. And this pleasure is greater than any threats or illnesses. And then I'm still in the will to receive. I measure what's more. Is this more or is that more? Either I... The, create, the connection to the Creator is more from enjoying that or suffering from the illness. And then I start, I work with it. He plays with me all the time in these things. Then when I advance through the light that reforms, such changes are made that I begin to want to bestow upon Him, that I upon these sufferings want to be in adhesion to Him, to bestow upon Him, to give Him now, to give Him and to bestow upon Him, or to feel that I'm bestowing upon Him, or even not to feel that I'm bestowing upon Him, so that I won't have any compensation for it. And that's how you develop. Hmm? So the point of uh, suffering he doesn't have any more suffering. It's required to feel this deficiency in order for the yearning for the Creator not to disappear. I build myself upon darkness, upon emptiness. Otherwise, there will be no me. Where is it written that the clear of the will to receive is never ever fulfilled? In the introduction, page 165, page 165, item 16, the, actually three items. Introduction to task. No, the opening, the opening for the wisdom of Kabbalah. Okay, so we're back to that same excerpt that the will to receive is never fulfilled and it's never cancelled, yes. So, there is an illness, and there is suffering as a result of the illness, and there is a desire to take advantage of this reality in order to cling more and more to the Creator and to develop qualities that are like His. If there is. Uh, assuming that there is, yes. And right. by that, with that we work on the level of zero of this building where the illness comes and, it is, and suffering is felt as a result, and you have to go to the doctor in order to heal. We go to the doctor in order to cure without uh, any... Uh, that wanting to heal. That is a must. This is a commandment. The doctor has the permission to heal. You need to go to the doctor and get the cure from him. Yes, but I don't want to heal. That doesn't matter to you. You do what the Creator dictates. It's not that you want or don't want to heal. You need to do what is upon you to do. Which is to go to the doctor. Yes, and I accept this and whatever will be, will be. Upon what everything that happens, you're drawn to adhesion and that alone. Other than that, you don't care about a thing. Guys, you need to think about this more. 
But in truth, connection. In each and every one, there is something that if you in, if you integrate, if you it will it will happen. And that's how it is individually in everyone. You'll be smart, and otherwise, serious changes won't occur. Yes, Gilad. <laughs> 